Hey guys, it's Joe Walker here. What the flipping hell is going on? So the other day I was out skateboarding and I thought I'm gonna learn a new trick. I'm gonna learn the fakey heel flip. Only the fakey heel flip for me is cursed. So I landed it multiple times, I believe two or three times, only my phone died. So I wasn't able to capture it on camera. Cursed. I thought it's okay, as frustrating as that is, you have landed a new flip trick, so that's brilliant. I went out the next day with the full intention to film. It was bone dry on the ground, and as soon as I got to the park, I did one ollie, and then the heavens opened, and the rains came, dampening my spirits and the ground. So I was unable to land another fakie heel flip. A week passed in which I was able to remove the curse of the fakie heel flip, and I had the most amazing fakie session. Without further ado, cue the fakie session where I started with landing all the basic tricks in fakie and then I attempted the fakie heel flip. So without further ado, cue the warm up. So that felt really good to be having a solid practice session with all my fakie tricks and once I'd done those I moved on to the fakie flip. The fakie flip's one I've struggled with but I was able to cl clutch a few. Check it out. Once I'd landed a few fakey flips, it was time to redo the fakey heel flip, and I wanted to land two to make it true. So without further ado, cue the fakey heel flip session. There we go guys, that was me landing the fakey heel flip and there's something really special and significant about me landing the fakey heel flip. For a long time I have been practicing the same, I believe it's seven tricks over and over and over. It's a uh, ollie, backside 180, frontside 180, pop shove it, frontside shove it, kick flip, heel flip and I can now do all of those in fakey. So this was a pivotal trick for me, truly pivotal. I can now do everything I can do normally but riding backwards and that's that's a big milestone so fakie heel flip in the bag that's a new flip trick in the bag it felt seriously good it felt even better to get it on camera I was I was frustrated to say the least but I am very happy to have landed it and I'm always happy to bag a new flip trick it's obviously it needs some work as does the fakie flip I am going to work on both of them all across the summer and get them seriously locked down tight. How are you guys at Fakie Tricks? Can you fakie heel flip? Can you fakie flip? Please do leave it down in the comments below. I'd be really interested to know. If you are keen on learning the fakie heel flip, then I am not the person to ask how to do it. There's one thing I would say is from the few that I have done, you have to get everything really tidy with your heel flips. You basically have to do a very nice, solid heel flip in fakie 
and you'll land it. There's really no room for any sort of back foot slight edging backwards or forwards because it sends the board spinning crazy and that front foot flip really has to be nice and clean for the board to do the heel flip rotation other than that i can't really help you obviously keep your shoulders square all of that good stuff speed helps all of that stuff just the usual standard stuff but you're really going to want to work on your heel flips before you move to fakie flip for me anyway i know some people do find fakie tricks and flip tricks easier to learn first and then they move it to the sort of standard uh, regular and goofy flip tricks but let me know down in the comments below how you guys are doing with all your fakie tricks and whether you can fake your heel flip i'd be really interested to know that as always i want to say a huge thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye bye